Modi, the Indian Prime Minister. His country has only had the full membership in the Euro uh, the Eurasian bloc last year, together with Pakistan, which made to the Qingdao SEO summit the first after the group's expansion. And now we are looking at this airliner now has drawn to an end, to an halt. But the engine is still humming. But we can see if uh, the Chinese officials are waiting on the ground, they're ready. They're ready. So are the guards of honor standing by, waiting to greet the head of the state of India. I think by far this is the largest airliner that we've seen here in the airport uh, for the heads of state. And now all those huge planes, they're all parking on the ground. Now the stairs are moving. Let's wait and see the Prime Minister himself. China's interaction with the India has been on quite a good streak in the build-up to the SEO summit. The latest demonstration of the deeper trust came with the Indian Prime Minister's speech given at the Shangri-La Dialogue, an event organized by a London-based think tank last week in Singapore. Asia and the world will have a better future when India and China work together in trust and confidence, sensitive to each other's interests. This is a quotation from the Prime Minister's speech given to the defense ministers and the military officials at the assembly at the city-state. And many analysts believe that the speech didn't heed to the U.S. intention to use India as a balancing force in Asia. China has shown appreciation to this, hospital, hosp uh, to this hospitable tone. Uh, we, and I quote Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Hua Chunying, saying, we highly appreciate such kind of a positive remarks, unquote. And earlier than the dialogue, the leaders of the world's two most prominent emerging economies, uh, i.e. China and India, met with each other in China's Wuhan city. And judging by the note of China's foreign ministry statement after the meeting, the event yielded the desired results. Wuhan informal summit has concluded in full success, and it is a milestone in China-India relations. This is a quotation extract from Chinese Vice Foreign Minister Kong Xuanyou's uh, uh, announcement about the two leaders meeting in Wuhan. And he also noted that the two leaders had in-depth exchanges on international issues, China-India relations and the bilateral cooperation. But despite the positive development, the specialists interviewed by CGT and have cautioned that relations between China and India require care and nurture. So Liu Yongfa, the senior research fellow at the Pango Institution, writes for CGTN that in order to, and saying that in order to ensure the enlarged organization, which he means the SCO, will carry forward the Shanghai spirit, both governments should carry out the consensus by the two leaders to move ahead with a meaningful cooperation in the areas where the two countries have a convergence of interests, which is required to bridge the trust deficit. And for that matter, Mr. Liu continued to write, security cooperation could serve as the immediate platform where both countries have the most outstanding convergence of interests. And secondly, both countries should exp uh, expedite the cooperation via bilateral channel in the area of infrastructure, which would immediately help patch up transportation, post and the telecommunication networks across India and more effectively connect India and the neighboring countries. Thirdly, both countries should design and carry out closer cooperation in the manufacturing sectors, which would complement the master plan by Prime Minister Modi to invigorate Indian manufacturing industries and allow Indian companies to increase the production of tradable goods and increase domestic and foreign trade. Now, this is something a little bit extraordinary is happening because normally 
mean, telling by my own experience of observing uh, the arrival of, of Hat State, that normally they would only have one side of the plane stored open and uh, the officials were waiting on the one side of the plane. But now we are looking at the airplane has opened the doors on both sides and the delegation's officials from India walking outside, uh, uh, walking outside from both doors. And now we, uh, we can and now we can see that the Chinese ceremonial troops have already been uh, near, uh, very close to uh, to the airplane, waiting. So presumably, the Indian Prime Minister will walk out the plane from uh, from that side. And now the. Motorcade has arrived. Standing by. Because earlier today, the weather was a bit rainy, and now it's a, a cloud above our head. So we're trying very hard to see. Uh, to, to look at what is happening before our eyes. But within the camera and zooming in, probably you before your laptop or your mobile phone will have a better view than I do here. But because it's a diplomatic ceremony and uh, gesture as well, so the procedure will largely be the same regardless of for which country's leader they are receiving. And they also experts believe that most importantly, the two governments, i.e. Indian government and Chinese government, should design and carry out industrial cooperation, which would allow the convergence of software advantages by Indian companies and hardware capabilities of the Chinese partners. And uh, also, the development about the reception of the effective construction of the Bangladesh, China, India, Myanmar economic corridor uh, should be continued because some acts believe that the development has been idle for years. And a successful advancement on that front would allow India and Chinese companies to extend their production and the service chains to the corridor and beyond so that the four countries would benefit from more opportunities for trade investment industrial cooperation. And because the Indian Prime Minister is here to attend the SEO summit, to which Pakistan is also a full member now, so there remains the problem over how the relation between India and Pakistan should be coordinated, given the two countries' long-lasting hostility towards each other. To this thorny issue, many experts believe that now the two countries have been able to sit down around the same table, i.e. the SEO's table, the chance of them willing to be open to meditation has increased. Alexander Lukin, a director of the Center for East Asian and SEO Studies at the Moscow State Institute of International Relations of the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, thinks that the SCO will provide a new and important platform for India and Pakistan dialogue. And he said that having successfully helped China, Russia, and the Central Asian Republics in agreements regarding development of the conventional forces on borders, the SCO could become an ideal confidence-building mechanism. And Lukin said, working together toward the same objectives on the same platform helps in removing mistrust and promotes dialogue on diverse matters. Dwelling on the implications, India diplomat uh, Pongchok Stockton said, the initiative will certainly bring greater confidence in the military-to-military -military interface. And notably, September's uh, 
SEO military drill will be the first time since the independence that India and Pakistan will both uh, jointly part of the military exercise. Though the arms of the two nations have worked together in UN peacekeeping missions. Now we can see the ceremony is still going on. And uh, far further, we can see that the civilian airplanes already pulling in the airport as well. So it feels that this ceremony lasts a bit longer. Or probably just waiting longer for all the delegation, all the delegates, I mean, the, the Indian officials to uh, walk down the plan and uh, get into the motorcades. Although there's a table, <laughs> there's a table on the tarmac of the of the uh, of the Qingdao airport but you know seeing all those airplanes from all those countries in relation to the SCO the Shanghai Cooperation uh, organization this could be a map for for the upcoming meeting okay I can see the Russian airplanes parking a little bit on the on the on the right side of uh, the Indian plane and also on on the near side to me, there's a Uzbekistan plane and uh, Belarus, as well as the Iran, runs that plane. So, I mean, this is the analog of the meeting that is uh, going to be underway later today. Oh, my colleague back at the control room just uh, told me that now. The Prime Minister has walked out the uh, airplane and uh, now is shaking hands with the Chinese officials, greeting him. And all the usual ceremony procedures underway. Flower presentation, handshaking, Now waving at the officials, greeting him. Yes, going to the Molokade and ready to leave the airport for his residence here. I should it's been an extraordinary experience for me personally. This is my first time to you know, stand by an airport waiting for the global leaders to arrive in China in Qingdao for the summit, for the meeting. Now the motorcade, the motorcade is leaving the airport. And uh, although the moment when the leader arrived it could be exciting for us to observe, but the waiting sometimes was really, really hard. This is the weather here in Qingdao when it was uh, when during the night it was really I mean, cool. But I think the waiting is worth it. Now there's a there's a long 
long-awaited event now is in in its full momentum to take place, and、uh, our live coverage here is just an overture. It's just a prelude to that, to this event. And now, watching the motorcade leaving the airport, with that, I think we are going to end our live stream series at the Qingdao Airport. Well, like I said, the events that have taken place over the past 36 hours are just a prelude to the SEO Qingdao Summit. And starting from later today, we will move on to bringing you more updates on the results of the talks between the heads of state and, of course, the interpretation into what impact the summit will have on the rest of the world in the many years to come. And I'm Dean Yang with the CGTN. I thank you for your company since last night, and、uh, please continue to stay tuned to CGTN, to our social media platforms as well as our television branch. And on all platforms, we will continue our hard work to bring you the live coverage, the latest、uh, updates.